Hi everybody, today's focus, I am testing just water and paper towels to see how well they remove bacteria from my home. For those of you who are new to my channel, what I do is test products to see how well they remove bacteria from my home. What I'll do is I'll take a product, whether it comes in a wipe form or a spray form, and I'll take bacteria samples before using the product and after using the product. So today, I'm just gonna test water and paper towels. What I'm gonna do is take a Petri dish just like this guy here and label it A, B, and C. I'm gonna take some sterile swabs and swab areas around my home, like kitchen sink, kitchen sink drain, bathroom sink, toilet rim, and place those samples in the section labeled B for before. Then I'm going to take a paper towel, wet it, wipe the area, take another paper towel and dry it, sample again, and place that sample in the section labeled A for after. C is my control, nothing's gonna go there. So let's see how well paper towels and water remove bacteria from my home. Now for some results. The kitchen sink. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria. I think you can see a decrease there. Um, there's a lot in the before section and there's still quite a bit in the after, but we can see a slight decrease in bacteria. So for me, wiping alone with just water does not do a good enough job removing the bacteria from my kitchen sink. The kitchen sink drain. In the before section, we can see a lot of bacteria. And in the after section, again, we can see a slight visible decrease in bacteria, but there is still an awful lot of bacteria there in that after section. So wiping with just water does not do a good job at removing bacteria from my kitchen sink drain. The bathroom sink, oh boy. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. There's a smearing of bacteria. I usually kind of see this much bacteria in my kitchen sink drain. So I did a really good job at letting my bathroom sink get really, really dirty for this test. And then the after section, honestly, it doesn't look like anything was decreased at all. I've been looking really hard at it and it looks identical to me. So just rinsing with water alone is not enough at all to remove bacteria from my bathroom sink. The toilet rim. In the before section, we can see a tremendous amount of bacteria. That's actually a really good sampling of bacteria there. And in the after section, we can see a visible decrease in bacteria. It's not a huge decrease, but it is a bit of a decrease in bacteria. For me, wiping my toilet rim with just water is not good enough to remove bacteria. Overall, I'm not surprised with these results, right? 
we did not see any significant decrease like we see when we test some other products, right? Where the before section is a smearing and the after section has one or two colonies, right? We didn't see that here. So that tells me that water and rubbing, which is water and paper towel, most certainly is not good enough to remove bacteria. Now, what was the reason why some of these areas decreased in bacteria was probably the mechanical rubbing of the paper towel. That would be my best guess. So these results do give an interesting baseline for what just a paper towel is going to do when I'm testing cleaners, right? There will be some mechanical removal in some areas with the paper towel alone. Then when you introduce some sort of cleaner or disinfectant or sanitizer, that is when we're seeing a really big decrease in bacteria. If there is a product that you would like me to test, do me a favor and put it in the comments section and I will add it to my viewer suggestion list. Or you can mail me something. My mailbox address is in the description below. Just do me a favor and send me an email. That's also in the description below so that I know it's from you and so that I know I should check my mailbox. I hope you enjoyed this video. Take care. Have yourselves a great day.